Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little bit of an update. Um, a few things, what, what has changed? I just switched from the Lorite to the Earl Grey that everybody was at, ooh. Um, and I just decided to pick back up my pocket Lutstrom and put it in my Americano. Um, as a personal journal inside the Hobonichi weeks. I keep doing that now. I realize I don't have to finish a journal and it's better if I just switch and start back where I left it. I don't like empty notebooks. That's my only thing. But today what I was gonna do is I was gonna go through my leather cover collection. And I don't know how to do this. If I should do this by maker or by size. I think I'm gonna do by size, yeah. So the smallest one I have is my Traveler's Notebook from Traveler's Company in passport size. It's the brown leather. I used it for a while as a wallet. It's weird because this leather, like, do you see? It's not very, uh, do I just hold it like this? It's like shiny on the bottom, but not on the top. I don't know. It hasn't patina this leather as much. Um, so I wonder uh, what that means. The Next size up is my Shakespeare Americano. Somebody was asking to see how it ages. This is how it ages, beautifully. Very, very beautiful leather. Um, like the Earl Grey, that was one of my other favorites and they don't have it anymore. <laughs> then we go to the A6s, which as you know, is kind of my size. I have one, two, three, four, five, six covers. And you might see one that was uh, previously for sale and I didn't post it and when I was looking through my covers today I decided to put my five year in it and now my five years in it that's why I don't look at my covers I usually say I'm selling them and I sell them because if I do I'm screwed so my fi my five year was in my Earl Grey from Shakespeare in A6 this one has patina so beautifully and if you look at the differences this one used to go everywhere with me and this one didn't but um, I used this for a while, I sold it, and then I bought it back from the person I sold it to, which, thank you. Um, so I'm really glad I have these two. So this is the first one. I'm gonna go, the other Shakespeare I have, which I was gonna sell, is the Moreland. And suddenly it looked amazing and sleek to have this in that. My five year, which is almost done. I can't wait to start a new five year. It's been, it's interesting to have a five year. Again, if you don't journal at all, get a five year journal. It doesn't have to be Hobonichi, Midori does them. If you look on Amazon, there's tons of stuff. You can get them. This is pretty small. You can write just on one side. I can't really show you, but basically, you know, the day is here, one, two, three, four, five. And then I write all the way across, but if I don't, you know, I leave it blank and I'll put stickers on or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be full, but it's really easy to do because I track so much my life. <laughs> um, if I don't do it every day, it's fine because I can go back and remember. I usually try not to go past one week. The first year I got this, I thought I had failed and I somehow was able, and it was very therapeutic to go back and write most of what happened and it took me a while but I was really glad I did it and I really really recommend if you're like oh, I don't like writing too much a five year is the way to go also it's so cool to look at what happened the year before and then two years before and now I'm at like four years ago I can look and see so highly recommend I have to find a fountain pen for this then we go into different makers my illustrated journal has been in my sojourner um, this is the Travel Trifold with the designer pocket. The leather is Caribou, which is my favorite leather Rowena has. I have this little, um, I think it was a keychain from my friend Scott for a shower, which um, he makes those. You may have seen those street signs on the street somewhere. He has them everywhere. Um, but my illustrated journal is in here and I love it. It's just really beautiful cover i sometimes put my five year in there and it's really holds like you can so it had this thickness in it now it's in there and it doesn't matter it's just you fold it more or less 
um, update on this one. I was really, um, I still have like maybe 20 pages between May and June, but this month, since I incorporated this in my morning routine, in the morning, gratitude journal, whatever health things I track, drawing the previous day. I haven't missed a day. It's incredible. It only took that. Now, I still have to color them, and I still wonder um, if I will or when I will, because I have now a few months of just you know, black and white. If you want to see more of those, um, I do post my drawing with me in my Kofi um, account. Um, it's not exactly like a Patreon, but it can be. I do have like um, a few memberships that are available if you want to get postcards or my stickers. But even if you like buy me a coffee, you get access to the videos, just FYI. Um, then I have this Lacau cover. Uh, that Diamond and I designed together. It has the pocket all around, which again, I love pockets even though I don't use them. <laughs> it has those pockets, which are my favorite. I love these kind of crisscross pockets. And then the card slot, the big slot, and two elastics, which is usually all I need. And a little snap, because I love the, I love the snap. My cover from the right that I've used many, many times, and that I've, I keep thinking maybe I should put my illustrated journal back in there, but I really like the surgeon right now, so I don't know. Maybe you'll see next video, I'll be either in this one or in the speckle font. Um, for some reason, some covers scream more, I'm going to draw in them, and some covers are more, I'm going to write in them. This to me is a cover for writing. The Sojourner, because it's a trifold. This one, because it's like the leather is so patina and soft, and this kind of like interesting closure, closure makes me think more illustrated journal. Don't ask. So I have the, the right, which I literally had seen Mitz going through her covers, which if you follow, I did buy this from her, uh, which she, I think, had posted on Kofi that was, she was selling them. And then I saw she had like a pocket and it looked amazing. I screenshot it, sent it to Diamond, who's the owner of the right and the cow, and he made it for me. I love this cover. And I have the speckle fawn in the Chatelaine, it's called. It's really beautiful, very well made cover. It has the pocket, and yes, it goes all the way even behind these. And then you have a big pocket here, one elastic pocket here, and a zip pocket here. Very, very cool. I don't know, the leather is interesting because it's not super stiff, but it's not super uh, soft either, but it gives you this soft feeling regardless, but it holds its, um, I don't know how to say, size, yeah. And then I'm going to standard. I have two travelers company, actually this one's a Midori that I found on eBay and the leather is really interesting. The leather looked awful when I bought it and then I really cleaned it and worked it a few times and now it's one of my favorite. I love the feel of it. I have one of my old journals in here that I had started in 2018 because at some point I think I'll jump back into that size because I've been missing it. Um, I do have this black one that is my oldest traveler's uh, notebook and I went to the Boom Kuchin uh, workshop and I customized it. I love the uh, was it Wabi Sabi. I didn't love when I put the grommets because I was mad at myself for not actually adding a pocket somewhere. I just put the grommets and it looked empty and then I put this patch from Sticky Club and with that and the charms, I think it works. So I was happy. It was weird. I have to retighten this elastic. I don't know why it's so big, but I have my uh, sticker release paper insert in there. I think the next size will be B6, which I have two. One is from the right, it's vintage tan leather. It has my cat ghost um, paw mark, the only cover they have touched. I love this cover, it's however a weird size, so I'll probably never sell it. It doesn't really fit a B6, it's too big for a B6 slim. It fits the minimal diary monthly from Midori that I bought through Yoseka Stationery, and I used to put like all the photos monthly, which I'll probably start this again uh, in January because I saw they don't have it right now. I probably would have backdated, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> but that fits perfectly in that. So I love this leather, and uh, yeah, 
so this is a weird b6 this is my b6 that i made with this super leather that i have found that's like a creme but a little bit thinner i think than the shakespeare creme brulee creme brulee it's called now i have doubts um but it's patina quite a bit because i used it for a while as a personal journal the cover that everyone really liked um the other day i sold a few i was actually i'm about to sew them after this but um this is not finished i cut it and this leather is so pretty that i decided to cut three weeks with it and some standard size i got two i think um because my the reason i don't love making leather covers i love the sewing i hate the cutting hate the cutting with a passion i find it really difficult for some reason don't ask me why but that's almost it now we're going to the a5 right yeah and then i'm done so there's this cover the lewis which i still haven't posted on facebook because i'm a procrastinator apparently with these things um but i will sell it even though every time i look at it i'm like oh it's so beautiful it's just a5 is not a size i use a lot so while i'd like to have a few I have this one that I bought for like $25 or something on Etsy and I cannot remember the company I'm sorry um, sorry about that it, it's in my unboxing playlist somewhere um, but it, it was like a sale during Thanksgiving or something it was a big sale and I just stumbled on it upon it gallon leather I repurchased the A5 um, I talked about this and I really love it it's a very unusual cover it's very unusual leather for me and I love it so I'm I'm happy to have this one as my main A5 cover um, I have the thinking of you planner in there which I completely stopped using June because really if I wasn't planning in the Hobonichi it's a fantastic planner but for what I was using it for it's just too much um, but if you think the Hobonichi Weeks is too small and you don't need the dailies from the cousin, Hobonichi cousin, this is Tomo River paper and it looks like this. You have the month overview like this, then you have the month and then the week. And usually there's notes page either at the beginning or at the end or both. It's great. It's really, really well designed. It's beautiful, beautiful uh, planner. I just don't have time for it. Then a non-leather cover. I have the Hobonichi here and the Kokuyo um, for A5. But I'm not showing you all my non-leather. I have a bunch of Hobonichi covers to an A6. So that's it. That wraps up uh, this very, very, very long video. <laughs> so um, I hope everybody's doing good. If you're still here, please like and subscribe and ring the bell because even though I try to post three times a week, I'm not always consistent on the actual day um, so yeah if you want to be notified that'll make it easier for you also I have a lot of draw with me videos and my Kofi, which is a like patreon in the sense where you can have membership um, my memberships include um, either a postcard or a postcard plus a sticker but you can also buy me a coffee for five bucks and then you get access to the videos um, so just saying if you want to it's in the description box and yeah i'm gonna say goodbye and thanks for watching bye bye